जनता जानती है कि अदानी जी भ्रष्ट व्यक्ति है अब जनता के माइंड में ये सवाल उठा है कि इस भ्रष्ट व्यक्ति को हिंदुस्तान का प्रधानमंत्री क्यों बचा रहा है वी हैव कॉट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज एंटरिंग मिस्टर अदानी कंपनी नो बडी नोज हु मनी दैट इज दैट मनी कैनोट बी मिस्टर अदानी मनी हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दायर The video that you just watched was uploaded by the Congress party on the YouTube channel. Today, in less than 5 minutes, we understand what is this rupees 20000 crore figure which Rahul Gandhi spoke of in his press conference. So, in fact Rahul Gandhi is not pulling this number out of thin air, but he is quoting a Financial Times expose on the Adani companies which says how almost half of all foreign direct investment into a Gautam Adani's conglomerate in recent years came from offshore entities linked to his family. highlighting the role of hard to scrutinize money flows in financing the indian tycoons business empire simply put the ft analysis shows that the foreign investment of 2.6 billion dollars or 20000 crore rupees into the adani companies came from offshore shell companies not just that the analysis concluded that the total amount of opaque overseas investments in adani companies was an underestimation and the actual value will be higher since official fdi numbers in india exclude foreign portfolio investments the article was published on the financial times website on 22nd march 2023 the report has made some shocking revelations about the money coming into the adani companies from abroad this is what rahul gandhi was referring to when he mentioned the rupees 20000 crore amount during his press conference the financial times is making this claim after analyzing india's publicly available fdi records they also explained their methodology of conducting this investigation ft writes how a quarter of the fdi that flew into the adani companies came from connected shell companies through a series of small and frequent investments but what are these shell companies basically these companies only exist on paper they do not have an office no employees only a firm that manages its finances shell companies act as tax avoidance vehicles for legitimate businesses they are also set up to hide and protect the business owners assets or illegal income These companies are mostly established in something called as tax havens. A tax haven is a place or a country with very low or nil rate of income tax. It provides a business friendly macroeconomic environment such as financial and economic stability as well as financial secrecy from tax authorities. Switzerland, Cayman Islands, Cyprus, Mauritius are some of the favorite destinations for storing illegal money. Business owners or individuals set up such companies to avoid spending on huge tax payments that can hide the source of illegal income and access the global markets at the same time. So, the FT report says that such shell companies based in countries like Mauritius associated with Adani's family did 45% of the foreign investment into Adani companies. The biggest investments came from two companies directly or indirectly linked to Adani's elder brother Vinod Adani who lives in Dubai. A company named Emerging Market Investment (DMCC), which states on its website that it only invests Vinod Adani's funds, ploughed 631 million US dollars into Adani companies between 2017 and 18. Meanwhile, Mauritius registered Gardenia Trade and Investment, which invested 782 million US dollars into Adani companies between 2021 and 2022, is directed by Emerging Markets Manager Subir Mitra. The opaque nature of funds that were pumped into the Adani enterprises raises serious questions beyond Rahul Gandhi's press conference about the corruption and the crony capitalism in the Indian corporate structure. Thus the Congress's question remains poignant where did this rupees 20000 crore of foreign investment come from? Nonetheless the demand for a joint parliamentary committee that is the JPC to probe the Adani matter still persists among the opposition leaders. PM Modi or the Modi government are yet to reply in the parliament to the substance of the charge of Adani's proximity to them. Adani has denied his long standing connection with the prime minister has led to preferential treatment. We will keep informing and updating you about the issue. That's it from me. For more stories and news, keep watching the wire.